yote kuwa tayali kuleta mafikara yenu uh, hekima ubwenge ni mitekerereza yanyu kuba hano we want you to have your thoughts here no you um to just think as you are here to um have your thoughts here with us ndio maana tukipata hii dakika 5 ama 15 za kwanza kuwatayalisha kusudi tukiingia kwa wakati wa kuabudu na kutukuza Mungu umekwisha kujitahidi and this is why we're going to take the 5 to 10 minutes um getting you just ready to receive the word of god hii nayo inakuwa ni kipindi ya kuzoeza kama kutaenda kunakuwa mabadiliko fulani fulani kwa siku zijazo and this is a good thing to get used to so that we can change um few things kwa sababu tutakuwa na kipindi ya kuwa tunaimba nyimbo hizo nyimbo za Kiswahili muda mrefu we will have a time to sing Swahili song for a long time. Watu watakao kuwa na nyimbo za ukovu mtatusaidia. People with the uh, um, hymn songs will help us. Ukiwa na kitabu cha nyimbo za ukovu kuja nacho. If you have the book, bring it forward. Ukiwa na kitabu ya nyimbo za tenze za roho kuja nazo. And um, if you have that book with all songs, you can come and br- you can bring it. Hiyo yote itakuwa kwa kutukuza mungu. All of those things will be done to glorify God. Tena ninaiwa katikati yenu mnakuwa na nyimba za za ukovu kwa ma, kwa namna ya telefone ya juzi wa ki ya na siasa ya leo. I believe that all of you have the hymn songs on your phones. Na fikiri ndi muzifite. Do you have do you don't you have it on your phone? Ufite ukovu nende muri mwe semuri telefone. Who has hymn songs in Swahili in your phone? Uko na yo apo. Uko na yo. You have it? Nadia letter you to one. Mama kupat. Eh. Hey. Nataka ni wakumbushe gisi mutakuwa muna endele. Uh, Nadia, bring it here. I want to remind you how you'll be, um, how, what's going to be go happening. Ah. Kuna namba ya miyamoya na, na kumi. Uh, there's a song, 110. Ibi tubikora kugira ngo dutegure nabandi nabo bazaza babasha gukurikira dabitewe no kugira ngo miyamoya na kumi. We're doing this so that we can um we can prepare everyone else to come uh, to be ready with the songs. Kwa sababu hii ni ni mambo yetu ya Wakristo wote sio ya kanisa kwa ruga moja ni kwa sababu ya ruga zote zitakuwa zinafuata. This is something that um most churches would do and this is something we're going to be doing. Kwa sababu tumetoka kwa province na mikoa mbali mbali na inchi tofauti za Kongo na Afrika kadhalika. And as, well, as we are all from different um different um different countries and different states in Africa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sawa. Ngira hafi kugira ngo. Mwamba uli opasuka ndani ya koni jifiche maji ale damu ile itoka yobavu zako Iwe da wa ya kuponya Ruhu yangu na ubaya Iwe da wa ya kuponya Ruhu yangu na ubaya Kazi za mikono yangu Haziwezi kukomboa Hata ningelia sana Na kutenda kazi nyingi Singeweza kuokoka Peke yako umokozi Ndani yangu sinakitu Na ushika msalaba 
uchi mimi univike sina nguvu nichukue ni mchafu unioshe wewe u mokozi wangu kwa maisha yangu yote hata nitatoa hata saa ya kuitwa mbele ya mfalme wangu mwamba uliopasuka Nijifi chendani ya Aleluya Aleluya Iyo inakuwa ni wimbo Ya kusaidia nini Na kuelewa na mnagisi kanisa ilivyo Kwa kanisa Mutu anajitaidi Mutu anajitaidi mtu anajaribu kujitahidi kujifunza kitu fulani people try to learn um, few things in the church umuntu aragerageza kuhimbaraga kugira ngo agirisha amenya people try the best to learn ndio maana kwa kanisa ni wakati ya mtu binafsi na Mungu and that is why the church is very important tunakumbuka sababu ninaenda ninawakumbusha hiki kidogo kidogo i remind you ni sababu tulikuwa kule ngambo tulikuwa tunaimba Kiingereza tulikuwa tunaimba ki Farasa tulikuwa tunaimba Kiswahili na, na Kiruga mama. Let me remind you of the times we used to sing Swahili, French and different languages. Na tena mlikuwa mnaiwa kama siwage Kiingereza ki mimi. And we used to say, I, I, as you know I don't I don't speak English. Lakini nilikuwa naimba Kiingereza ya hatari. But I used to sing English. Mnapenda niwaambie nyimbo ya Kiingereza? Do you want me to sing a song in English? Mnapenda niwaambie nyimbo ya Kiingereza? Do you want me to sing a song in English? Kama mnachangamuka mnyoshe mikono nione. If you want raise your hands. Hapana mnafanya ba mikono hivi. Ningependa mnyoshe mikono vizuri. If you raise your hands all the way then I'll sing. mikono unione kama mnapenda niwaambie hiyo. Wimbo mwe ya Kiingereza ya kizungu. And then I'll sing a song in English. Munapenda kweli nyi. You want me to sing in English? Nianze hapa. Should I start? Mutalipa hapa hapa. <laughs> you pay if I sing. Acha nipime. Let's see. Lakini nawaambia. But let me tell you. Kila kitu jaribu. Try in everything you jaribu do. Jaribu roho wa Mungu akuguse. And allow the Holy Spirit to Pasipo um, kujaribu. And if you do not try. Hakuna kufanikiwa kiroho. You will not feel good spiritually. Pasipo ku, kujaribu. And without trying, hakuna kubarikiwa. You won't be blessed. Utarabigirageza. Without trying. Ngubjiga ni baseke changu bariki. Whether people laugh at you or not. Biki kusumbua kwa ruga ya kizungu viweke kwa ruga yako biki kusumbua viweke kwa ruga za masomo. If it's it's uh, hard for you to speak in your language then tr uh, in English then try your language. Hiyo itakubariki. It will it will be helpful to you. Tuko siku tuna zunguruka zunguruka uko na uko kwa kwa Uganda, kwa Rwanda, kwa Kenya, Nairobi, Tanzania eti na kadhalika. Tulikuwa tunakutana na hiyo mataifa yote. We have um we have been to many places. We've been to Rwanda, Uganda, and all of those places we've been to we used to try our best. You are alpha. And Omega, he worship you alone. You are holy to be praised. What language is that? We give you our holy. We worship you alone. Did I not sing in English? Simunaona mama ninaijua hiyo. 
Can you not see that I can sing English? I can sing English. See, clapping for God and you are not even doing that. I can even sing it to Swahili as well. Izo nyimbo zote za hapa ndizo nyimbo za huko. All the songs we sing here are the songs we sing. Izo ndizo Kenya walikuwa wanaimba. They used to sing these songs in Kenya. Uhura ho. Namantangazwa chane ni jare mwe mwiganza zawe inyenye di noguhinda kwinkuba jerekana ububasha bwawe Mami mana da kuririmbira uri nkuru uri nkuru Mami mana da kuririmbira uri nkuru uri Roho yangu na ikuimbie Jisi wowe ulivyo mku Roho yangu na ikuimbie Jisi wewe ulivyo mku. Tupigie mungu makofi kwa yesu. Hallelujah. Izo nyimbo zote zitakuwa kwa kutukuza mungu. Simunaona tunakuya kuka uku. Mungu wa metuleta katueka uku. God has brought us and brought uh, God has brought us here. Akatupa wa ndugu kiroho. And he has given us spiritual friends. Tutafanya kwaya mwaka ujao na Pastor Benny na wa Kristo wote. We are going to make a choir including with Wote tunakuwa tunaimba wimbo mmoja na mbinguni tutakuwa mtu mmoja. And even in heaven will be one person and he will sing us one. Wa wote mtu mmoja. Hakuna mkenya, hakuna mzungu, hakuna mweusi, hakuna mkubwa, hakuna mdogo. White people, there's no black people, there is Tutatukuza no mungu kwa furaha. We worship God in happiness. Kuna siku tutafanya. There will be a day. Mataifa yote atakosanyika mbele yake. Pana na moko. Ule mgena na yuwa yu. Our visitors know that song. Ndiyo, itakuwa hivo. Watu wote wanachangamuka. Apana kuja kwa kanisa. Ukiwa na hizo kitu fulani fulani za kueka kimoyo. Tupa bia mbaya kuja na bia kizungu. Sinindi. Uyu mungu wana kupenda sana. And God loves you. Ivyo nariko mba teguvu. I was just preparing you. Tuombe mungu kwa sababu ya kuwanza ibada. Let's pray and begin preaching. Kanda matela nilagese kure. And um, as we are going to gather. Kicha tutawalika wa imbaji mutakuja mbele. Then we will welcome the choir to come forward. Nizere kwa washi jogu hudumia. And I believe you'll be able to preach. Ijgui wa rilegeneza. And I believe that you have prepared your voices. Nijgui rigenda rilegeneza. And that you will sing. Kweri iminsi dufite ni tuzamu na marugu ngwa renge chane. Because of the times we're in, we don't raise our voices too high. We have to keep it at a minimal level. Tukifuza kwa bantu wose waneze eko. And we want everyone to be happy. Tunawakaribisha nyinyi nyote. So we are welcoming all of you. Muko watu wazuli. You are beautiful people. Tunashukuru mungu. And we thank God. Tunashukuru mungu kwa mama na kwa waka mzaifu. We thank God for our mother here who's Lakini mungu wana msaidia. But God has helped her. Tunakuwa na papa na ya likuwa mzaifu maesiku. And we have our father here. He was also weak in the flesh. Alikuwa na umia kwa mugulu. He was sick on the leg. Lakini ananza kutembea vizuli. But God has enabled him to walk well. Mungu anafanya maku. 
God uh, has done a great thing. We love you. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu and we thank God because amepata inema. He has um, been given the grace to come today. Na tunaamini kama kuna mpangilio mzuri mbele. And we know that there is a good plan ahead. Mungu ataendelea kumponya. And God will continue to heal you. Tunashukuru Mungu sana. And we thank God. Na tunasema Mungu akubariki. And we say may God bless you. Nyumbani mwa Mungu. Um, in the house of the Lord. Tunakuwa na mtoto yetu naye anakuja kwa misa yetu. We can see our daughter who's coming in our service. Tunasema karibu na Mungu ambariki. We say welcome and God bless you. Sasa tunafikia kwa kipindi ya kuimba hizo nyimbo tatu. So we have reached the time to sing those three songs. Eh kisha nyimbo hizo tatu. And after those three songs, tutakuwa ku, kuenda kwa maombi. We are going to take time to pray. Halafu tukimalizia maombi. After prayers, tutakuwa kupatia uh, program ya kufuata ya kusikia neno la Mungu. We are going to listen to the word of God. Karibu waimbaji. Welcome to the singers. Mje mtupe hizo nyimbo tatu. Come and sing for us. Na tunaanza ibada yetu. Then we're going to begin. Na hizo nyimbo zetu zitakuwa zinapita kwa ulimwengu mzima. And those songs will be online. Na ndio maana hii chano ina, inasaidia watu. And that is why the channel helps uh, many people. Nilikuwa na nasahau salamu ya watu wa Marekani. I had a greetings from America. Walisema waimbaji mnaimba vizuri sana. They said that you guys sing really well. Waliwafuata watu wa Marekani. Kwa nini ampigi makofi? Oh, na kusaidia watu. Why you not clapping? Oh, na kusaidia watu. Bana nituma mnashindwa hata na kusema merci. Bande kuna ngai. Eh eh. Bana sema salamu sana. Kuna wimbo muliimba hapa. There was a song you sang last week. Zilisaidia mama moja mwenye yuko Marekani. That helped one lady in America. Anjo na Fran na Nadia bana sema asante sana. Uh, Nadia and Anjo were very happy. They said thank you very much. Bana anza sema bale ni watoto yako na mimi nasema ndio. Msio mnasema baba zenu moyo mnasema mimi. Yes. So sema, I'm your father. Pastor, uko, uko na watoto, ba binti, ba, 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 ba mzuli vile. Ndiyo. And they said, Pastor, you have beautiful children. Oh, and I ku, said, yes. Naanza kutetea, naanza kusema mambo mazuli. Naanza kuweka komente zangu pale. And I started speaking well of you. Mungu awabariki. May God bless you. Sasa, tu, tuombe mungu na waimbaji mkipita. Let's pray, then the singers. Na hizo nyimbo zitabariki tena watu. And those songs will bless people. Mungu tunakutukuza. God, we thank you. Tunakuja mbele zako. We come before you. Tunanyenyekea. We humble ourselves. Mahali tulikuwa wadhaifu sana. We are very weak. Na wale na mahali pale tulifanya makosa. And at times we sin, we do the we, we do mis, we perform mistakes. Tunakuja mbele zako utuhurumie. So we come before you, may you be uh, have mercy towards us. Utuhurumie. Have mercy towards us. Uturehemu. Uh, be compassionate towards us. Damu yako ituoshe. May your blood cleanse and wash us. Ututakase mokozi. Cleanse us, O oh Lord. Neema yako itusafishe. And may your grace um, cleanse us. Tuonekane mbele zako. So that we can be seen before you. Kama watu watakatifu. As um, blameless people. Tukipitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Tukipitia ndani ya damu yake. Tukipitia pamoja na Roho Mtakatifu. Anayejua kutuombea kuliko sisi. E Mungu tuhurumie. E Mungu tusikilize. Wakati wa kuabudu the time to worship utege masikio usikilize uh, listen to us wakati tunasifu jina lako and when we're worshiping and glorifying your name utege masikio listen to us wakati tunazungumza neno lako and as we preach your word utege sikio uh, uh, listen to us utuongoze na utuwezeshe lead us and uh, empower us wakati tunatoa sadaka um, and as we give offerings Utusikilize mokozi. Listen, oh God. Vyote tutakavyo vitoa. And everything will be given. Uviitike. I receive it. Ukubali. Receive it. Kwa maana. Because. Izi ni huduma za mikono yetu tunakutolea. This is the, off the offerings of our hands. Lakini mokozi utubariki. But our Savior bless us. Utubariki. Bless us. Itika sadaka yetu. And accept our offerings. Utubariki. 
uitike na shukrani zetu. And accept our thanksgiving. O Mungu wa mbinguni. O God of heaven. Mungu wa mbinguni. God of heaven. Usiangalie gisi tulivyo wadhaifu na wanyonge. Do not look at our weakness. Usiatazame makosa yetu. Do not look at our mistakes. Bali utazame mema tunayoyatenda. But look at the good things that we've done. Na hatuwezi lolote pasipo wewe. We cannot do anything without you. Ndio maana tunalia mbele zako. And that is why we cry before you. Ingawa tumekukosea. Even if we have sinned against you. Lakini tu watoto. We are still children. Wewe ni baba. You are our father. Wewe ni baba yetu. You are our father. Unatupenda. You love us. Upendo wa kutosha. Um uh, unconditional love. Unatupenda na zaidi ya kusema. You love us. Unatupenda sisi. You love all of us. Umetukombawa. And you've um you've saved us. Ndio maana tunakushukuru. And that is why we thank you. Katika china lako Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As I was uh, <sighs> I was looking behind me to see if there was anyone there but there is nobody. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Mm. Unaweza kuwa mnakuja haraka sana, mnatembea sawa waimbaji. Come fast. Hata microphone uko mbele. Mnakuja mbio mbio, mnakuja mna Ze microphone mbere muzegere muziriri mbere ho go closer to the microphones ah tutegere ndiri mbimana yabahaye nitu watuzizi turabafashu and we'll wait for your songs and if we know them we'll help you yeah karibu sas welcome muleke dusengi mana let's pray mana turagushimye mana turaguhindashe tukushimye kuru mbje wachu Tushimye kuko twemereye twebwe twese kemera ko tuza mu nzu yawe ahera hawe umwami imana yacu bihere gukyubahiro muri aya masaha tuzamuye cyubahiro cyawe muri uyu mwanya tuzamuye ibendera ryawe reka ushirwe hejuru icyubahiro cyacu nkikigaragare ahubwo ubwisa bwawe abari bwo bukayanganira mu mitima yacu Reka ibyo dukora uwiteka nyiringa b'Imana byishimirwe nawe reka imbaraga zawo n'ubutware bwawe bashe kubana natwe twe ntacyo twabasha gukora tutari kumwe nawe dusabye umwuka wera kugira ngo atuyobore rwose kuko twebwe turi ibibumba n'uwiteka nyiringa b'Imana ntacyo twabasha kumarira ubwoko bwawe ntacyo twabasha kubabwira byabasha kubungura mu mitima yabo ariko yo wamanutse uwiteka nyiringa b'Imana urakora kandi cyubahiro cyake kagaragara bana natwe icyo duheje no gukora ku mwanzi satani imbaraga zawa daimoni zose turazicecekeshe n'izi na rya Yesu Kristo reka ubutware bwawe abari bwo bugaragara hahera hawe n'izi na rya Yesu Kristo urakoze amen amen ngami mana ndakorerembera uri nkuru uri nkuru Nami mana nda korere mbira Uri nguru, uri nguru Nami mana nda korere mbira Uri nguru, uri nguru Nami mana Nami mana Kuri bira, uri guru, uri guru. Ista zaza, azanye ni gavose, azanja na mi shuru kwata, zapu kama. Mimbazi mana yanje Vuzi mundo Timanu rinkuru Nami mana Nami mana Nda kuri rimbira Urinkuru Urinkuru Nami mana Nami mana Nda kuri rimbira 
Ira Uring Guru Uring Guru Mami Mana Namba 
Nalifite Namasezera No Ibizaba Nalikure Ima Mami we Nalikure Nalikure Nabziringiro Namba Nalifite Namasezera No Ibizaba Nalikure Ima Nigizwe na fina marasoye Ubu singi genda Mane shimwe Mane imano wa cheso kristo Mane ya masezra no Mane hambari Mane ya sabi kerito no Na jiringiro Na mba marifite Na masezra no Yibizaza Na likure ima Nigizwe afina marasoye Ubu singi genda niganyira Tunga na wiho Ami arikubu Arikubu Nigizwe afina marasoye Ubu singi genda niganyira Tunga na wiho Yangizumutamji, mu 
גם עם
Amen. God bless you. Asante sana. Na la Mungu. We have reached a time to um, listen to the word of God. Tupige makofi kwa nyimbo tunazozipata kwa kutukuza Mungu. Let's clap for the songs we've just received. Mungu amefanya vema. God did um, an amazing job. Tunafikia kwa ibada ya neno la Mungu. We have reached a good time to hear the word of God. Ah, uh, tumwalike Pastor Gile Biganza afto eneno la Mungu. We we'll ask Pastor Biganza to come and give us the word of God. Tupige makofi kwa kumpokea basi. Let's let's clap as we receive him. Mungu ameweka neno kwa roho yake. God has placed words in his um heart. Ndio maana tatuhubili neno. And that is why he's going to preach to us today. Mungu ambariki. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Turatangira dushimira Imana. We are going to begin by thanking God. Mumasengesho. Through prayers. Ah. Uh, Uiteka mana muremi wisine juru. Lord God, creator of earth and heavens. Tuonge kugushima kigitondo kya none. We thank you for this morning. Kukonge kuduha kakanya keza. For you are giving us another uh, good time. Kugira ngo duteranire mu ngoro yawe. To gather in your temple. Tugushimira kubw'ibyiza byose wadukoreye. We give thanks to every good things you've done for us. Tudashobora kubonera izina. Sometimes we don't even know how to say it. Tugushima mana kuko uduhaya kakanya keza ko kungira kugira tugongere tukumva ijambo rya we duha kuba we thank you, God, for giving us this time Kuko that we get to hear your word again. Because you sent your children with the words. So this is a good time to uh, uh, listen to your words again. So God, we are calling you to come and cleanse the hearts of every person that's here. And everyone who will hear this gospel, let it be gospel of that will change people. Buzaha abantu kurushaho kuguha umwanya mu mitima yabo no mitekerereze yabo. Let it be a life changing gospel that will give people time to review their lives and change their lives around. So that you can continue to lead them in your ways. We cast away any darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we could have the Holy Spirit to guide us in everything and to be our light. Let us not be, let us not be seen but let yourself be seen. May you continue to perform miracles and continue to do great things. Lord, go and uh, visit those that are sick and heal them and those who need you. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have great happiness to be in the house of the Lord. For last week we were here also. And God has allowed us to be here once again. Because he has plans for our lives. God knows why we are here. And that is why we pray. As we pray to, be, um, to, to open our eyes. Careful. To be careful. Because Last week, we learned on how we learned about doing the right thing. How we need to do good things and everything we touch, do the right thing. There are things that we need to do 
There are many things we need to do and that begins within our homes. Tugomba kubikora neza bigatunganira bigadutunganira twebwe gatungana nabandi bose. We have to do the right thing that's right for us and other people as well. Nabo twakore imirimo bakabyishimira. And everyone I, I will be pleased. Hari abantu bagerageje kubikora neza uko Imana ibishaka. There are people who did the right thing as God wanted. Wa kwanza wa mbere tubona ngano witwa Yusuf. The first person is Joseph. Joseph amechuki yanzwe ni nabavandimwe be. Joseph was headed by his brethren. Yarwanyijwe nabavandimwe be. He was headed by his own brethren. Yanzwe nabakwendi bakozi bagenzi be. He was headed by his fellow co-workers. Ariko nti abatuye nabi bamutuye. But he did not repay them bad. Yakoze ibintu byiza cyane kuko iyo bazamuye yibagirwa inabi yose yakorewe yibagirwa amabi yose yakorewe abakorera ibyiza. He did good for them uh, despite all the bad things they had done to him. Uh, and he is our example. Sometimes somebody will do good things for you because they're thinking uh, about your future. Today they may do the wrong thing by you. But but those wrong things they're doing to you sometimes may lead you to the blessings of God. As we can see that everything that had happened to Joseph led him to the blessings of God. The ways of God. There's another man called Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. It was like that with Lord. Barataka Ruth. Ruth. And lost all everyone in her family. And she was a foreigner. Mubuko um, her mother-in-law told her, since your husband has died, and I have no other son to make you a wife, it will be good for you and find another ma- for you to go and find another hu- husband and God will bless you. But she refused. She said, your God will be my God. Wherever you sleep, I shall also sleep. Whatever you shall eat, I shall also eat. It just shows her how she did the right thing. She became a very valued person. And another person is Jesus who came to save. He is our example. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is life. There is no other way by him. In everything we do, there was a builder who was building. And they were using measurements. And when we're building our spiritual life, we look at Jesus as our example. We, we, we think are our actions pleasing to him? Are we doing the right thing by him? Yes, no nyuma yaho ngaho uyu munsi dufite irindi somo rishya tugiye kuri kwiga. Today we have a different topic. Isomo tugiye kwiga uyu munsi ni somo ry'umugabo wagenze ibitandukanye n'ubushake bw'Imana. The uh, topic for today is about a man who who did not go in accordance to uh, God's word. Azanira umuvumo ubwoko bwa Israel. He brought cursings to the Israelites. Kuko Israel bwari ubwoko Imana yatoranyije mu moko yose y'isi nibwo bwoko bwonye Imana yatoranyije. For the Israelites were a chosen nation among the whole world. Bakagombye kumvira itegeko ry'Imana bakanarishyira mu bikorwa. So they needed to to obey God. 
ariko siko byagenze but that's not what they did kuko ahanga haturareba ibintu ahabu yakoze we can see the things that was done by ahab ahab yakoze imirimo inyuranyije cyane nuko abana ba israeli bakagombye kwitwara he went against god and did uh, things that were not suitable for the uh, children of israel kuko mbere yuko bajya muri israeli and before they had gone to israel ijambo imana yababwiye god told them one word yavuze ngo nta yindi imana muzagira uretse ngewe he said to them there you shall have no other god but me mbahaye igihugu I'm giving you a, can, a land. Mbahaye namategeko mugomba kugenderaho. I'm also giving you rules that you need to walk by. Ni mugomba kuyahindura. You shouldn't change those rules. Ni mugomba kugira icyo mwongeraho. Don't add to it. Ni mugomba no kugira icyo mugabanaho. Don't reduce it. Ariko Ahabu. But King Ahab. Yarahemutse. Ah, uh, he betrayed. Ubuhemu yahemutse. What he did. Nuko yazanye ibigirwa mana muri Israheli He brought idols to the Israelites abana ba Israheli ahugira ngo basenge imana yukuri And instead of worshiping the true God the children of Israel basenge ibigirwa mana Started worshiping idols Ibigirwa mana idols biva muri 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 Sidoni That were from Sidon Aho hantu And that time na hantu habi cyane kuko ho basengaga ibigirwa mana was a bad place because they only worshiped idols cyari gihugu gituranye na Israheli that was a country next to the country of Israel aho basengaga ibigirwa mana they used to worship idols kandi ibyo bigirwa mana and those idols nibyo bya bitangiye kuramwe kusengwa muri Israheli We're also being worshipped in Israel. Ahab in the kosa rya kabiri yagize. The second mistake that Ahab made. Yashatse imbaraga. He he looked for strength. Yashatse gukomeza ubutegetsi bwe. He wanted to be king and ya, continue to reign. Yashatse ko akomera He wanted to be stronger. Muri uko gushaka gukomera yashatse ubutege yashatse yagiye gushaka umugore w'umunyamahanga. Um, in that as he wanted to be stronger he needed to he went and married a woman from um, a different nation yagiye gushaka umudamu witwa Jezebel a woman called Jezebel 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 azana ibigirwa mana byose byo muri Israel ahindura imyumvire y'abanya Israel and she changed the thinking of the ways of the Israelites ahindura imitekerereze yabo she changed her thinking abahumwanya And she gave them time kugira ngo to by but but azongera kusenga imana yukuri she gave them time she changed their ways so they don't worship the true god none yarangije kuzana ibyo bigirwa mana byose abigeze muri Israel and as she brought all the um idols to Israel yatanze itegeko she gave one um one room uwa mbere yabanje guhindura numwami She changed the king first. Buriani kosa rikomeye cyane umwami kurongora umugore umunyamahanga. It is it is a taboo to marry a, a gentile lady for kuko, a king. Kuko umwami niwe indorerwamo y'abaturage. For the king is the is like the example of everyone else in that country. No neho uwo mwami niyo wakagombye kwigisha abanya Israel ko bagomba kuramya imana mu kuri. He was the one who was supposed to teach the Israelites how to worship God in the truth. Ariko siko byagenze. But that's not what happened. Ahabu yumviye umugore aho kumvira imana. King Ahab listened to his wife instead of listening to God. Kandi imigambi yari afite yari itandukanye n'ini migambi imana yahaye abana ba Israeli bagomba kugenderaho. And his plans were different to the plans that God has had given them. Ubwoko bwa Israeli ni ubwoko bwakagombye kuyoborwa n'Imana inyakuri. For the nation of Israel was to be led by the true God. Ariko ahangaha ahabu yazanye ibigirwa ahabu yazanye ibigirwa mana byo kwa sebukwe. But as I have brought idols from her his father in law Yazanye eri amabi yose yo muri Sidoni He brought all the bad things from Sidon Ara yazana muri Israel And brought it to Israel Ahindura uburyo basengaga And changed the ways of worship Ibyo bintu birakaza imana Those things grieved God Biragaje kurakaza imana And as they increased God's wrath Imana itumwa ituma umukozi wayo witwa Eliya. So God sent his servant called Elijah. 
iramubwira kuko watandukanyije uko uwanze gukurikira ibyo amategeko yanje ukayobya nubwoko bwanje ukayobya nabanje and he said because you are not following my ways and you have deceived my people ngiye guhana igihugu i am going to punish the whole country igihugu kirahanwa imyaka itatu nigice and that country was punished for three years and a half ntamvurigwa there was no rain akimara kubihana gutyo and once that punishment was there haba ya mapfa muri cyo gihugu many people passed away haba ye amabi menshi there was lots of wrong doings ntabyo kurya there was no food amatungo arapfa and all the livestock died guhinga biragarara there was no farming imigezi rakamba there was no wells ibintu byose birangirika everything was ruined kubera iki kubera ijambo ry'umuntu umwe wayobeje ubwoko bwa Israheli only because of one person who had misled the israelites mu byo tugomba gusenga in everything we do or pray for mu byo tugomba gusengera igihugu turimo everything we need to pray for we need to pray for the country that we dwell in nkatwe turahanga muri australia and as we dwell in australia tugomba gusenga imana ihe ubwenge nubushishoza abatuyobora we have to pray that god gives people um, um, wisdom to to lead us bayobore igihugu uburyo imana ishaka to lead us in the ways that god wants bakore ibyo imana ishaka to do the things that God wants. Kuko ahanga ha urareba nk'ibi bintu Ahab yakoze. As you can see the things done by King Ahab. Yara mahano. There were uh, terrible things. Yari bintu bitakagombye gukorwa. There were things that were not meant to be done. Kuko ubwo bwoko bwa Israheli. For the children of Israel. Nubwoko abantu bose bareberagaho. Were examples to other nations. Nubwo ko abantu bose bavugaga barebaga bahezagiwe babaga muri Israel. Was a nation that blessed everyone else who had come with them or who lived among the Israelites. None umuvumo ubashikiye. And after the curse, the curse, cyari gihugu abantu bose bavumaga. It was a country that was hated by many. Kubera iki kubera ikosa y'umuntu umwe. Why because of the mistake of one person? Kujya kuzana ubwoko ibigirwa amana byo hanze. To go and bring idols from different nations. Ujana gukora ibintu bidakwiye. To do things that are not right before God. Abantu b'Imana bakagombye kugendera mu kuri no mu mwuka. The children of God needs to walk in the truth and in the spirit. Dufite amagambo y'Imana agomba kutuyobora. There are words that need to lead us. Dufite inyigisho zigomba kutuyobora. We have to, we have teachings to guide us. Ariko abahanga bakimara gukora ya makosa yose. After they had sinned, Imana yohereje cyo gihano. God sent that punishment. None turibaza uyu Eliya wagiye kuvuga iryo jambo we muri yo myaka itatu nigice yari kuzaba yari kuzatungwa niki. And so when we look at Elijah we think since he is the one who brought that punishment what happened to him? How did he survive in those three years? Because after he caught the curse, um, if we call a curse of where we are, it was We are going to read uh, First Kings 16. Chapter 16. 32 to 33. Verse 32 to 33. Yes, wafalme. Alimjengea bali hekalu huko Samaria. Nandani yake akatengeneza mazabahu ya kumtabikia. Ya kumtambikia. Hallelujah. Chapter 16, verse 32 to verse 33 says... Then he set up an altar for Ba in the temple of Ba which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a wooden image. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. Amen. Yes. 33, 33. 33. Hali kazalika ilitengeneza sanamu ya ashera mungu wa kike. Ahabu alitenda maovu mengi akamkasirisha Mwenyezi Mungu wa Israel zaidi ya wafalme wote wa Israel waliomtangulia. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ahanga haturareba amabi yose nani yakoze Ahabu yakoze. Here we can see all the wickedness that were done by Ahab. 
Ayo mabi yo sahabu ya koze. All of those wickedness. Yatkwa ye ubuko kubugi imana abu nyaga misled the children of God and therefore robbed them of their um, inheritance. There are things that steal our inheritance. When we bring idols into our houses, when we, uh, when we don't fulfill our promises, when we, for, we, we, promise, we promise when we are still alive and we leave the promise when we are dead. When you're going to get married, you make a promise before God that you will live with her until you, you die. That is a promise you're making. And if you don't, if you don't fulfill that promise, you're bringing a curse upon your household. No one else is bringing the curse by you. Which shows that all your temptation that you come across, you have to forgive your husband. You have to forgive your wife because it is a promise that you have made. Amen. And even the children of Israel made a promise before God that they would obey him. The, the, law, the rules of the law of God. They, they refused to listen to the law or to obey the commandments of God. And that is how the Israelites uh, died. As we speak now, there are many deaths going on in many houses in different um, places because because you do not fulfill your promises. Those promises that you've made is what judges you. Is what um it's it's your justice. It's like a judgment that you've put before yourself. Before you make a promise before God, think about that promise whether you are going to fulfill. Because if you do not fulfill, you're bringing curses upon your life. Here Elijah was telling the kings all the, um, the, the mistakes they had made. God prepared a place for him where he would stay in those three years and a half. One of the places he took him to was in the bush. Where he would be fed by a raven who brought to him bread and uh, meat. And to drink water from, um, from the river around because they were to have three years a drought for three years and so that well that well where he used to drink water also became dried do not worry about the problems you face because you're the servant of God. God knows what will, what will uh, sustain you in every circumstance you uh, pass through. Like any other person who would have questioned, how would I survive in these three years? But God had already planned for him. What he, God's plans were too, too much that he could not fully comprehend. But Elijah put his hope in God. And what I can tell you also, in all your uh, tribulations, in all your troubles, 
in all your temptations. Look at the miracles of God. Look what God will do. God does not change. The God of Elijah is the same God today. He is the same God that we continue to preach about. He is the same God that we continue to work for. Stand upon the word of God. Listen to the voice of God. God will help you from your time. God will give you great things. Once the uh, water dries up, God sent him to a widow. And as he went to that widow, it was a great, uh, there was a big problem. And I learned from that uh, situation. And that is what I want to share with you. As he left there, God told him, Go, I have prepared a widow who will, who will, um, who will give you something to eat. And that widow knew that there was a servant of God coming because God told him that I'm going to send my servant to you. Do whatever he tells you. Hallelujah. 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 Elijah left that place and went and um, reached a place. Where he saw a widow who was gathering woods in the bush. And so he called her. And that widow came to him. And he said to her, I want you to give me some water. And he saw that the lady was willing to give him water. At that time, nobody was sharing with the water. Because the water you had was to sustain you and your family. When, we, when he saw the woman go and get the water, he said, uh, turn, turn and come back. And he saw that widow came back. And as she came back, she, he said to her, go and prepare for me a bread. And give me water. And, um, and she said to him, I won't have enough because I only have a little bit to sustain me. And the little that I have, and the little oil that I have left, it's to cook only one more meal. Then my son and I would die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's where we see faith. Miracles of God. How the servant of God needs to, to live. And what need they need to do and what, how they should be. And he said, do not fear. Don't fear. Because myself. Whatever I tell you, do. Muri 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 and in that, uh, he, she had a, a, um, a bag with uh, flour. It will not finish. And the oil that you have will not be emptied completely. But go and uh, cook uh, bread, uh, bread so that I can eat. And after I finish eating, you and your child can also eat after I finish. What we need to ask ourselves why did he not allow her and her child to eat first and so he would eat the leftovers? And why did that woman agree to give her food to a Gentile? One thing, the food was not enough. 
and it was not enough yakagombye kubyikubira akavuga ngo ibi ni byanje n'umwana wanje nubwo wazuri inde sinshobora kugwereza kuko nanye sigaje umunsi umwe gusa she could have chosen to say i will not give you this is for me and my son because it's only a little bit left aho ngaho turareba ukwizera icyo bibyara that's where we we see faith what does faith bring ukwizera kubyara iki what does faith bring ukwizera faith no gutanga maturo and giving offerings kuko yavuze ngo ubanze umpengewe he said give to me first nturye wowe n'umwana wawe don't just eat by yourself and your son ariko ubanze ngewe but feed me first aba ari ngewe ubanza kurya let me eat first uko byagenze nibivuga kubyereke amaturo this is um, examples of offerings muri bike ya dufite whatever i in all the things we have bya bindi bya nyuma the the very last thing we have tugomba kubanza gushyira imana imbere we have to put god first gukuraho umugabane w'imana we have to take out for god gukuraho ibyo imana ishaka we have to give what god needs kugira ngo ituhe imigisha so that he may bless us kuko umugore yaratetse because as the lady who was cooking arangije guteka and after she finished cooking aramuhereza she gave him ararya and he ate arangije kurya and after he finished eating ahongaho havuye ubufu um after the after the the place that had the flower um where the flower was muri yo myaka itatu nigice in those three years ntabwo yigeze habura ubufu that was it was never emptied ubufu bwarahoraga buri gihe buri gihe buri gihe each day each day agaha nabandi and she used to give others ni wiga gutanga guhereza imana when you learn how to share and how to give to god muri bike ufite in the very few things you have ntabwo ari mu byinshi ufite not in the many things you have muri bike ufite in the very few things you have nkuko uwo mufakazi ntabwo ari afite ibintu byinshi as the widow did she did not have many things ariko bike yarafite yatanze ya 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 that she had yahaye umukozi w'imana gave to the servant of god nimana nimana nayo izana umugisha muri urwo rugo god brought, brought blessings in that house umukozi wese w'imana iyava kagera azana umugisha mu rugo wherever a servant of god comes from they bring blessings to your house iyo migisha y'imana iza biturutse kuri wowe and those blessings of god comes through you kuko ufite urufunguzo because you have that key ufite urufunguzo you have the key urwo rufunguzo nurukoresha neza mu gufungura iyo migisha and if you use the key to open those blessings iyo migisha izinjira mu rugo rwawe the blessings will come into your house nufunga and if you close imana izafunga iyo migisha yawe god will also close your blessings aha ngaha tukareba mu gitabo cya kintu cya nani aha ngaha tukareba amategeko yarariho aha ngaha muri 17 na 17 tugeza kuri 17 Here we look at the at the um rules one they king, had 1 king 17 1 king chapter 17 13 to 15 13 to 15 yes hallelujah hallelujah turabona ibitangaza by'Imana we can see the miracles of god ibikomeye by'Imana the great things of god ibyimana yakoze what god did ibyimana yagize what god did kwarugira ngo ubwoko bw'imana so that his people bumenye ibitangaza nibikomeye by'imana can all um his miracles the uh, great things that he does kuko imana icyo yashakaga because what god wanted yashakaga ku bwoko bwayo bumanuka he wanted his his uh, his people bukamenye cyabwa koze to understand that they had sinned against him bukamenya ibikorwa imana yakoze to understand what god had done kuko because aha ngaha imana yakoze ibitangaza nibikomeye god did great things here and uh, performed a miracle mu kubikora and as he did it yatanze uwo mukozi w'imana yamuhaye imigisha he gave blessing to the elijah imwereka nuko ugiye kirageze yuko ibyo bihano birangira And he said it is time to stop those punishments. Let's read chapter 17 verse 13. Chapter 17 verse 13. Let's read chapter 17 verse 13. Let's read chapter 17 verse 13. Elia akamwambia usiogope. 
nenda ukafanye kama ulivyosema lakini nitengenezee mimi kwanza na kuniletea andazi ndogo kisha jitengenezee wewe na mwanao chakula haleluya and elijah said to him do not fear go and do as you have said but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me and afterward make some for yourself and your son ibyo nibyo turangije kukuvuga that's what i just finished telling you ibyo uwo mudamu uwo muke uwo mfakazi yakoze what the lady did the ya, widow did yatanze indya she gave food yatanze ibyo yarafite she gave what she had tugomba kwiga muri bike yadufite we have to learn how to give in the few things we have tukabanza imana and we have to put god first hari benshi babanza mfite abana There are people who always put their children first. I have a wife. Ngomba kuri I need to pay for the house. Ngomba kugura imodoka. I need to buy a car. Ngomba kuri a mortgage. I need to pay for my mortgage. Ngomba gukora kiri anga kora kiri. I need to do that and that. Ariko uyu mudamu sibyo yakurikiye. But the, this woman did not follow that. Kuko yakagombye kubanza kugabirira umugore we n'umwana we. Ah because he needed to um feed she, he, she, well she needed to feed her child first. Ariko we yabanje imana. Bashiri pu God first. Yabanje umukozi w'Imana. Pu the servant of God first. Yabanze gutanga amaturo ye. And gave her niyo nyigisho twigira aha ngaha kuko. And that is the lesson here. Iyo migisha yatangiye kuza bikurikiye nuko yabanje gutanga. Because her blessings came from what she had given. 14. Let's read on verse 14. sangapi sasaba yes turarangiza maana mwenyezi Mungu wa Israel asema hivi unga ulioko chunguni mwako hautapunguka wala mafuta yaliyoko ndani ya chupa hayata kuisha mpaka hapo mimi mwenyezi Mungu nitakapo nesha mvua chini haleluya amen for thus says the lord god of israel The bean of flour shall not be used up nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the Lord sends rains on the earth amen Ibyo bintu ntabwo bigeze birangira imana yagerageje kumuhereza imigisha muri byose Um God made sure he fulfilled his promise and gave her blessings in everything Kugeza igiye izuba igiye kizuba cyarangiye Until the time of drought finished Imana ya komeje kumuhereza ibyakeneye byose God continue to give her what she needed Mu gihe uzatanga ibyo ufite ku kazi k'Imana mu mirimo y'Imana Imana izaguha ibyo umugurwa rwawe umutima wawe uzabukeneye When you continue to give what you have to in the in order to glorify God God will continue to give what you need Nabasabaga yuko mwakomeza mugasoma kuri one king abami ba mbere Let's read first kings ntabwo ari ubu ngubu nashaka ko nimugera mu rugo muze kuhasoma niho muri busange ibingi bitwizeho Not now read it when you get home Musome abami ba mbere Read first kings gatandatu Chapter 16 Muhereye kuri 62 From verse 62 Muhereye kuri 32 From 32 murangirize kuri abami ba mbere 17 and finish uh, first key, finish the chapter and finish um, at the chapter 17 aho ngaho ni muarangiza ibi byose twigishijeho murabisanga aho ngaho niwo byanditse and when you read all of these things you see the teachings that i've just told you ninyigisho zacu nahanga hazirangirie ariko tugaraga tugaraga service is finishing here kubera ibintu imana igaragaza ubwo kutubaha imana bizana igihano as you know that when you don't uh, honor god brings punishment no muri cyo giye kibihano imana ntabwo izaguterana uri umukozi wayo and even during those times when god brings punishments god will not punish you when you are his servant izakomeza ikugaburire ikazakomeza iguhe ibyo ukeneye kugeza igihe iyo bihano bizarangirira He will continue to bless you and give the things you, you need until the punishment finishes Wo ugomeza gukareba gusa ibyo imana yakugeneye gukora 
you just continue to watch what God ha, um, just wait just continue to do what God told you to do. Okay. Turarangirije anga ha tukadushimira imana. Let's thank God as we are finished. Uwiteka mana muremye wisi nijuru. God creator of heaven and earth. Twongiye kugushima iki gitondo uyu mwanya wa none. We thank you for this moment. Kuko uduhaya kanya keza ko kongera kumva ijambo ryawe. For you have given us a good time to hear your word. Ijambo ryawe akaba ryo riduha ubuzima. And your word gives us life. Tukaba tukwereka mana ibyakozwe byose kugira ngo ubwoko bwa gukomeze bwumva ijambo ryawe kuko ryo ritanga ubuzima. We show you everything that was done so that your uh, people can continue to hear your word. Kugira ngo urusheho mana kutanga imigisha mu bwoko bwawe bose. May you continue to bless your people. Urusheho no kubamurikira mana biciye muri iri jambo. Continue to bless them through your words. Kuko ari wowe mana twiringira. Because you are the God whom we trust. Kuko ari mana twegura imirima yacu n'ubutumwa. You are the God in whom we put our trust. Tukaba tukwerekana amaturo yatanzwe. So we show you the offerings that was given. Kugira ngo uyahe imigisha. So that you may bless them. Urusheho guha imigisha abantu bose mana bagutuye amaturo. May you bless the Hansa has given you offerings. Urusheho mana no kubaye komeza kubaheza gira mu byo bakora byose. And continue to bless in everything they do. Tukaba tubisaba byose mana mu kwizera ubizina byo mwami wa Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Clap for God. Iri somo rirakomeye. That was a great teaching. Ndirimo amagambo atatu. Uh, he had three lessons. To do what's impossible so that everything will be possible. To do what's impossible so that everything is possible tomorrow. There is a word that he said and I'm um, sorry that you did not hear it. When Elijah was sitting at the well and the well was dry there came a time when the well was dry. Did you think about that? And where he was sitting, the water dried up. The water dried up. Even though the water may dry up, even though the uh, um, wells may dry up, Dry up. God continues to um to sustain the righteous. Are you hearing me? Do you understand? Even though it the well may uh, dry up. Even though there may not be any well. God still knows how to um, sustain a righteous person. There is a word that he said that I want to discuss. He said that he said that he said that there, were, there was something, there was a lady who found a husband. Faith is a great thing. And as we are uh, saying bye to her, they said, you're getting married, young lady. You see, you're going. They did not know whether she would have children. They don't know whether she was to become barren. But as they were saying goodbye, because of faith, they sent her with a um with a lady who would look after her children. Uh, the Bible says that in the book of Genesis chapter 42. And so they sent Rebecca and her nurse. That's faith. They knew that they, they thought she would go and give birth. You need to do everything in faith. We do not, we are not Christians who live in fear. Whatever we do, um, do not fear. Through faith, everything is possible. Cook, uh, cook some bread for me. Uh, and then you and your child will live. <laughs> Chab read the whole chapter, chapter 17. If you get time. May God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Asandi kumwanya wafashu teguri jambo jimana. Thank you for preparing the report. Harimu amagamba tatu na tekereje. There are three things that I thought about. Tuzaya garukaho ubutaha. We'll come back on it. Iri ni somo imana ya duha ya joku gira ngo tukui givi intu jinsh. This is a good time that God has given us so that we can end. Tugie kurangiza matera niro ya achu. We are going to finish our gatherings. Ariko turasigara du sirimba. But we are going to continue. Turachata ambi gisirimba kimwe chuko. Tugie kujamuli hori deyi. Tugie kune zirigu imana du shimi mani minsi mikuru. We are about to enter the holidays. Tudusengere hori deyi ya wantu wose. We are going to pray for the holidays and everyone. Kugira ngo imani za afasha wana wachu. Vari mobiru huku. So that God can help our children in the Dusengere na wanya Afrika wose. And we'll pray for Africans. Dusengere Australi. And Australia. Dushimi maana kuya hige ndiga wanya coronavirus. And we thank God that the cases are not increasing in Australia. Kanda wanduwa komeze vifatenneza wakulikiza matege kwa ya reta. And may people continue to protect themselves. Aho muzawa muli hose na wana muzawa mufite mungo. Wherever you are and your children. Ikindi kandi mukomeze mngiri inde kukontibira rangira neza. And continue to protect yourself because it's not over yet. Coronavirus ni chorezo chorezo. It is a virus that is um, like a burden upon the world. But let's continue to protect ourselves. And, every, and, and could let's continue to follow the law. Until the government tells us otherwise. May God bless you. We thank our translator. We'll pray for her that God enables her. And God has blessed her. She is the one who 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 is the one. Is that not true? Everyone loves her. To the each other next Sunday. <laughs> Hasiga iminsi miki nga zaza ni mfugiri chongereza nje njine kondi mkona kuko vya geze kure chane. Wande ake, I will be preaching in English by myself. Kuko niko vimeze. That's what I would do. Turashimira itorero. We thank the church and Pastor Ben. We thank all the servants of God. May God bless you. Read the chapter 16 and chapter 17. Next week I will ask you questions. I hope none of you guys are absent on Sunday. So that I can ask you two questions. I'm asking you to go and read the book as a whole. Homework. May God bless you. We're going to dance. I'm going work. Bye. I'm going home. God bless you so much. Yes. Hanyuma, tunataka kutshukuru mungu. Ii ilikuwa ni wakati ya kuendelesha ii mahubiri kwa ruga ya kizungu, lakini tunashukuru mungu. Japo mungu wa metenda miujiza, tunapenda tumuchezee mungu kidogo. Halafu wana mzike kuna kitu huko? Ya. Muwe hasi tuwenka wa himbazi maana kanya gato. Wa mamamu, muwe munasimama kidogo, munafanya hivi, pole pole, itakuwa vizuri.